Once there were two kings, twin brothers and friends. Then they grew distant. One grew happy, the other bitter and cold. Under the guidance of the warm king, the voices danced in the sky, their song echoing in the heavens. But then came the vultures, and the dancing ended. The songs stopped. The voices sent their brightest and warmest colors down below the earth to hide until the war was over. Coming to get you. The door is closed. It's no time to go to the control room. I have to find the others. <clears throat> Seriously, Matilda? got me! I guess I'm out. Oh, come on. Why don't you just try a bit to hide? I don't want to be a burden. In fact, I really mean to help as much as I can. Although, I don't really know where anyone is hiding, and I suppose you already know about the game. And you know everyone in the cave. Oh, I'm no help after all. I'm so silly! No, 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 it's okay. Tell me about the game. Really? Oh, I'm so glad. Okay, so listen. Vultures and Kids is a very old game in the cave. No one knows who started it, but it is an important part of our history. Hmm, really, you don't say. Yes, interesting, huh? Anyway, the rules are simple. One child takes the role of the vulture. That would be you. And the rest go into hiding. Since the cave is on standby, most lights are off, and the children will take advantage of the dark. Sometimes you will have to trick them out of hiding, just like the real vultures do. Brrrr. When you find a child, the area they are hiding in will light up. If you find all the children, you win. Tell me about the children. Yes! I am so glad. Okay, so listen. There are eight children hiding in the cave square hub. Some are easy to find, so there's no point talking about them. However, there are those who take the game seriously, namely Dambo, Bob, Pruna, and the twins, who always hide together. Do you want any specific details? Tell me about Bob. Bob is pretty huge, so it will be hard for him to hide effectively. He also loves food. I expect he will not resist the urge to eat something, even during the game. Tell me about Pruna. Pruna, as you know, is, well, you could say, obsessed with order and cleanliness. It's hard to miss her presence in the room. Tell me about Dambo. 
Dambo has a tendency to speak his thoughts, usually to express some kind of self-praise, even at the worst possible situation. Tell me about the twins. The twins take Vulture and kids way too seriously, and they will probably be the most difficult to find. You can expect that they will use trickery and manipulation. Keep an open mind to some more inventive thinking. Thanks, Matt. You're welcome. Yep, I guess you did. I give you E for effort. Yeah, I don't really care for the game. I just want the vulture to go away, so I can go on with my day. Oh, okay, okay. I'm going then. No, I didn't mean you. I mean the real vulture. Oh, I'm as real as they get, boy. Rawr! I'll be going then. Another child fills my belly. Ah! Gee, Aurora, this is rather specific. I'm actually a bit scared now. Oh, sorry, Bellamy. I just get like real deep into this vulture role thingy. So you like getting picked as the vulture? Picked? I volunteered. That's a first. On the contrary, I always volunteer. Why? I guess I like searching. Didn't know. We haven't been in the same game session for quite some time, I guess. Yeah? Well, anyway, you got me. Good for you. Thanks. Like a wow, the vulture. <gasps> huh? Echo, echo, echo. Tech tubes extending all throughout the cave to provide tech bots the quickest route possible. Can't use that. It's displaying a recipe for a veggie snack. Someone got hungry and creative. Apparently didn't have time to clean up afterwards. Nope. Nah. No time for that. It is a slimy, yucky sauce stain. The trails lead somewhere, but I can't see where. It is a slimy sauce. I don't want to touch it. It is a slimy sauce. I don't want to touch it. It is way too dark. I can't even go there. It is way too dark. I can't even go there. I can see the farms from here. Nah. It is way too dark. I can't even go there.
No time for that. I can hear someone from inside the tech tube. Silent like a snow leopard. Patient like a gloat. Devious like an ice spider. That's definitely Dambo. Patient like a gloat. I'll show you, Devious. You can't hide from me, kid. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. I can do this all day. I cannot use that. I'll never stop. Come on. The lab robot told us these are the planets around us. And we are living in one of them. Edor is its name. Power transmitters. Providing robots with wireless energy since... Whenever the cave was supposedly made. I'd love to mess those up, but sadly, I can't. Gotcha! Huh? It's a fake replica of the twins. Oops. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Ugh, your time is running out, kid. No, you can't. Wait, what? No, you can't. No, you can't. No, you can't. No, you can't. It is an empty no, lab bottle. Can't. No, you can't. This could be useful. No, you can't. No, you can't. No, you can't. It is too dark. I can't make out what this is. No, you can't. It's the panel that handles storage elevators. It's an iron pipe. Got it. Hmm. These boxes are suspiciously orderly. The symmetry is just too much. Ah, much better. Chaos. It's a natural refrigerator. Brr, it's cold. I can't touch this. Let's see if this works.
Got it. And it's cold. It doesn't look like the talking type. 